Is golf a game, a lifestyle, an obsession? My name's Tom Coyne, and for me, golf is connection. It's a connection with nature, with places, but most of all, with people. Now, I've traveled the world on some crazy golf adventures, and everywhere I go, I find people whose lives revolve around this little white ball. Because this isn't just a game. This is The Lynx Life. Mm. Salty. Good shot. Mm. Look at me. How much golf is too much golf? It's a question my wife Allison has certainly wondered a few thousand times. But when it comes to how much golf a person can cram into one day, now I'd played 54 holes a few times and lived to tell the tale, but when I met the folks from Youth On Course and they told me about something called the 100 hole hike, I don't think they finished their sentence before I said, sign me up. Oh, that's sweet. A hundred holes sounded much more pleasant and much more possible with the company of a friend. And it didn't take me long to identify a willing partner, Shane Bacon, Fox Sports host and former mini tour player. A hundred holes in one day, a lot of par threes, a lot of ace opportunities. Tons of ace opportunities. As every folks know, you're still waiting for your life's first ace. This could be to the day. The chances, uh, I mean, yeah, you got a hundred shots at it, dude. And, uh, and we were talking a little bit on the car ride over. I'm saying it counts. I, I'm, and I'm not going to not say it counts. I mean, how many times do I hold a wedge in a year anyway, for goodness <laughs> sakes? If I hit 100 wedges in a year, I'm not going to make many of them, if any at all. So right. let's so, do it. Let's do it. Yeah, so we're here for Youth on Course, benefiting a great organization that makes it possible for kids to play great courses for five bucks. So 100 holes in a day. Thanks for sponsoring us, everyone that sponsored us. If you haven't yet, I don't know, send them some money. Just donate. Just donate. Donate now. Ooh, he's swinging now, folks. He's nice and loose oh, wow. and firing at pins. Now, please don't balk at us playing a par three course for our 100 hole hike. The venue was assigned to us, first of all, and it was filthy with hills and healthy walks. And honestly, I don't care if you're playing miniature golf or Tiger Woods golf on your PlayStation. 100 holes is a lot. All right, so 15 holes in, we think. <laughs> uh, how, you, how you feeling, Shane? Feel good. Well, I, I think I've you're lost, getting warm. You're getting I've loose. I lost the club. I lost um, a layer of clothing. Both on purpose. I didn't just like <laughs> misplace them. They didn't fall off. Property. And if they did, maybe somebody can grab it. They're all hiking out here with us. But it's, uh, it is. A, it's a nice, crowded little golf course. Uh, you, we, we have learned one thing. The California air, you gotta club up. You gotta club up. We're here on the ocean. It's the mist, I don't know what it is, but yeah, everything, <laughs> everything's short this morning. Maybe we're just a little tired. I'm not as long as you, dude. I don't have all that time in the gym. This is gonna be like a little putty? In the gymnasium. Twenty-nine holes in, and I don't know if you just saw this or not, but Tom Coyne <laughs> still has to check the distance. I want to check the distances on every. <laughs> Wait till we get to hole seventy. He's gonna step them off. <laughs> step off the distances. That's gonna be the next thing. I, I don't have that that short-term recall. Like twenty-nine I used to. holes, matches, all square. All square, folks. Can you believe it? It is a battle. It's. We had a chip in. This guy. We, we did some not so great chip in. Oh god, it's going right for it. Bird, move. move, bird! Oh no, he hit us. I, I hit the f bird. Oh, you just hit him. Hit him. You missed you by a foot. Way to go, bird. We told you. Did he do it? Oh, he did it.
I think this is the 36 hole check-in. We're 36 down. <laughs> 36 holes completed. I'm two down in we've our, had, we've in had our two, match. We've had two chip-ins. Yes. We've had a, an assortment of scoring. Yeah. I, How you feeling? I, I feel physically very good. I've shed some layers yourself as well. Yeah. You look great. <laughs> Thanks, man. I feel Oh, that's there. I want to do that. Good ball. Nice. Shane, we've come to not just the halfway point. We're a little bit of overachievers checking in at a hole number 52, but we go into it on a little bit of a a little bit of a low, a low note, uh, a, a sad note, actually. Yeah, we uh, we decided to play a makeshift hole over the trees, and my uh, my tee shot uh, it disappeared forever. Where do you think it ended up? It's it's gone. It's I, I don't know. And we had there's we had no eyes on the. There's nowhere for it to go. No. Maybe it decided 52 holes was enough. I I, I think it was the ball that just gave up. A dozen other hikers around Olympic lapped Shane and I a few dozen times, exposing us as hundred hole rookies. They played with one club and had those suction cup things on the end of their seven irons. They didn't even have to bend over. They were just hustling onto the last hole. And before Shane and I were even halfway done, half of them were already off the course. But not every other hiker lapped us that day. We were thrilled to meet and play a few holes with our new friend, Linda, who not only raised thousands for youth on course, but after finishing her PhD and retiring, she went back to school to a local junior college so that the college could field a women's golf team, helping another young woman to fulfill her dream of playing collegiate golf. Now that, my friends, is as good as this game gets. So Linda, your story is so cool. I mean, you're inspiring. So after you retired, after I retired, yes, you went back to junior college. I went to junior college. To play on the I, golf team. I still had eligibility because I never <laughs> played that in college. That is so great. Three to go. Three. Three. And we're done. You don't really know why you've played 100 holes until you've done it. I did it because I didn't think I could. And that idea is probably behind why we play this game at all. Why one hole or a million holes is never quite enough. Because around every corner, just beyond every tee box, lies that possibility that we are better than ourselves that the game we dream of will be the game we actually play. That finally, this time, this one's going in.